This episode, springtime tips. Well, the buds are budding. The leaves are leaving. That doesn't sound quite right. But anyway, uh, it is time to do spring maintenance. Welcome to the Handyman Pros Radio Show. Home improvement and maintenance tips from the pros. Thanks for listening to another edition of the Handyman Pros Radio Show, where our goal is to help save you time, money, and aggravation on your home maintenance and repair. This edition's called Springtime Tips. That's right. To help me explain, I'm here with my ever-tip-giving friend and <laughs> old buddy, Johnny. Johnny, what's going on this week? Oh, well, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's springtime, uh, you know, cleaning out the, uh, clean out the attic of, uh, you know, squirrels. Um, John, you, that's like a nonstop it's not, you know, thing it's, for you. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's it is it's non it's nonstop. I I, I laugh, I laugh when people on uh, some of these like next door apps and stuff, and they're sending pictures of squirrels that are on their screens and stuff, looking in their house, and they're like, "Oh, isn't this cute?" I'm like, "Uh huh, yeah, that's that's really cute." Wait till wait till that thing gets in there, it causes about a thousand dollars worth of damage in your house. <laughs> It's so yeah, cute. It's so cute. Oh. And then you'll be like, ah, uh, yeah, not so cute. But anyways, um, you know, it's uh, I, I've been I've been doing a lot of things. You know, I've been working on my lawnmower. I got you know, I haven't uh, done a whole lot to that thing for for about a year or two now. And, um, you know, I I cleaned it all up, greased it all up. I changed the oil, tune up the whole the whole bit. And that uh, I, I, I can I tell a story? I've got to tell this story. So I'm talking to John the other day on the phone and he's like, he he called. He says to me, he goes, yeah, lawnmower's not working so well. I call him the next day. He goes, do you know what happens when you sharpen the blade? <laughs> Man, it's like it's like a brand new lawnmower. It works great. You know, <laughs> it, it like, is funny. You know, because they, they they will go dull pretty quick. But you know, it just yeah. I, I finally got to the point where I'm like, okay, I've got to you know perform some stuff, and I hadn't sharpened the blades in a while. And thank goodness that they weren't bent, so you know there's no vibration and that kind of stuff. It just you know. But anyways. Um, so, and I've been, uh, I'm, I'm preparing my deck. I'm looking out right now. I'm preparing my deck to get, you know, to stain it this, uh, this year and replacing boards. And it's just never ending. I don't want to do it all at once. And I think I've mentioned this before. So that's kind of been an ongoing you, you've project. You've mentioned this every week for the past. I, I, know, I can't tell like, you how many weeks. It's like I can talk about the same thing. It's like a broken record, but you know, um, I'm kind of taking it slow on that, but uh, that brings me to you know a couple of things here on the on the tip. So you know we want to uh, we want to impart a few things here, and especially at uh, at springtime, and just kind of let you know what we've been doing. You know, yeah. kind of catch well, you and, up. And with... the, yeah, and and there's one I just want to do the opening one because it's the one that actually happened to me. So the other I have a, a, a dehumidifier in the house, and I actually have an air conditioning condensate pump that it drops the water into the air conditioning condensate pump and then pumps it up into a drain and it's in the basement. So it has to go a lot of us do the drain. And I'll just let me pause you there a second. A lot of us do, you know, whether it's coming out of our air conditioners down in our basement right? or, you know, you'll see these things, right? They're like little black boxes, boxes yep. with a hose going in and a hose going out. (laughs) Yep. And so, uh, so my, the condensate pump on my dehumidifier, which runs in the wintertime, obviously a lot more than my, in, in the summertime when my condensation pump for the air conditioner runs a lot. But, uh, anyway, it was sticking on every once in a while, you know, and, and I, you would just shake the box and it would turn off and I'm like, Oh, something's catching it. It's probably a little bit of dirt. So I was headed out of town here, um, for, for a pretty extended period of time. And anyway, long story short, I'm like, you know, let, I, I've got a couple minutes. Let me open that thing up and just sort of take a look at it and see what's in there and clean it out. Because I didn't want it running while I was gone. You know, I didn't want it running for a, a long period of time without being able to turn it off. Because most of the time I was just shaking the box. Or just off, the right? opposite. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, or, right. You come back surprised. <laughs> yeah, surprised you got a flood in the basement. So uh, uh, anyway, long story short, I take the lid off. And I, I knew this and I knew it in advance, but I didn't really think about it till I took it off. Lo and behold, there's this, there's this clear kind of gelatinous, uh, <laughs> goo. I, I, I honestly, I don't know what it is. I think it's probably was algae. It's I'm not really it sure, but it was, yeah, it's it, in my case, it was, yeah. it was kind of whitish clear and it was actually holding the float up. It kind of had created like a jello, um, 
uh, bed in the top of the air conditioning condensate pump. So that it would just hold the float up. And when you shook it, of course, it knocked the float down. No big deal. So I'm like, oh, better just clean this out. You know, took that stuff outside, dumped it in the lawn because I wasn't gonna, my wife wouldn't let me pour it down the sink. <laughs> Whatever. Um, but uh, anyway, poured it out in the lawn, then took just a towel and just cleaned it out and, and cleaned off. the. There was a little bit of it up on the float, too. So I cleaned all that off, basically sprayed it off with a little, little tiny bit of water to get all the goo out of there. Lo and behold, it's fixed. It said to myself, self, you know, we need to put that one out there as a tip. And then I went and checked the air conditioner one and did this. I actually didn't have to do it on that one, but but um, I might have. So I was like, well, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. So I did both of them. And uh, I thought it was a good tip. I thought, you know, if you haven't checked it in a year or two or maybe never, you know, if you've never checked it, you might want to check it. Just make sure there's nothing in there that's that could that could hold the float up or down either way, because neither what neither is good. Right. And yeah. so those things work on a float switch. It just goes yeah, up. Yeah. So what I've so. experienced with that is that I've I've cleaned I've cleaned them out and I've also put, you know, like a little bit of a uh, diluted uh, solution of bleach in there to, to, to break that down and flush it out, because what yep. happens is. Um, it will clog up the check valve that goes out as well, and then and then what happens is that um, you know the check valve is 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 a mechanism that uh, allows just one direction, so it'll kick the water out, but it won't siphon it back in. Okay. Yep. And what happens yep. is that it, sometimes it gets all uh, slimed up on the check valve, and the check valve doesn't close anymore, and it starts to suck. You know, if if your hose is going out and up and out. Um, which is typical, um, it'll siphon it back into the into that box, <laughs> you know, yeah, and it'll yeah. be gurgling, and then the box fills up again, and then it wants to kick off again, and it's, you know, so yeah. you know, rinse and repeat, right? So um, yeah, yeah that, it, but it's a that's a great tip. Um, it's it's one of those things. All of all of that gets really nasty um, coming out of the air conditioners and uh, dehumidifiers and and that kind of stuff. A lot of times they, I think, I'm not quite sure about the code. I've heard uh, a lot of times that they won't let you dump that into uh, into the sewer. Um, so, anyways, but uh, that is a that's a good that's a good tip. And they would know that how. Well, you're not supposed to, right? You, it's supposed to go to the outside, and most of them are just out on the lawn. If you'll notice, yeah, I know. I was going to say, what's the difference? It's basically water with a little bit of uh, out, you know. Well, that, well you just you just answered your own question. It's, it's that kind of stuff. It's why it's it's why your wife wouldn't let you dump it down the sink. <laughs> so. No, she didn't want me dumping it down the sink because it was nasty. Yeah, well, that, that's, that's why. Th there's my point. <laughs> so <laughs> there's my point. But no more na yeah. no more nasty than the things I normally oh, leave yeah. in the toilet anyway. I'm not going to lie, you know. Like, come on, you know, like really. But whatever, it doesn't really so, matter. So I don't but know folks, what uh, somebody can somebody can correct me on that out there. That but I, I heard that I heard that uh, a while ago from some guys in HVAC. So, anyways. Anyway, but the tip is make sure to clean it out. And in the spring is a good time because, especially for an air conditioner, because that's you're, you're coming up to condensation season, yeah. right? It's going to start yeah. working a bunch. Yeah. And so kind of time to do. This is not one of those things that I think you like you put on the calendar. This isn't an every month thing. I haven't che I haven't checked this dehumidifier. I've had that dehumidifier for three years, three or four years. So it's not a. I would say put it on a yearly list at best, even a two year list if you if you have your scheduling set up that way. But not something you need to do all the time, but something you need to do every so often. Well, so agreed. that that that's my well, tip. That's agreed. the big tip that agreed. I agreed. Take away. Agreed. I was I was uh, working on the deck um as i said earlier so i went out and i want to really scrub down Rinse the, and repeat yeah, baby. scrub down the <laughs> scrub down the house um and i didn't you know one of the things was that i didn't want to use um regular regular bleach um right. so i used you know um i did the old trick with um you know the the, the uh the oxy clean stuff which is oxygen bleach and it, it's it's different than a regular bleach um but it's, you know, it's safer, right? It is, you know, if you get it on your clothes. And so f I guess the, the, the thing here, folks, is that, you know, if you don't want to play around with, with, a, with, with real bleach and you want to, you know, start to bleach out your clothes with you know, spraying it all over the place on the outside of your house and stuff, try, try OxyClean. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's actually probably, well, it's actually cheaper than, than bleach. You can mix up a whole, you know, gallons of it in hot water um and and apply it like you do with bleach and let it sit for you know 20 30 minutes and uh, it works it works great um so 
So all you do is take the powdered OxyClean, put it in the water. Do you have a proportion by chance? You know, on, the, on the box, it, it, the, the scoop's in there. It'll tell you what it mm-hmm. is. Um, mm-hmm. and, and you just, I just mix it up and then I just put it in my pressure water you know, on, on the, uh, the, um, on the nozzle side of the pressure washer, yeah. oh, okay. um, yeah, yeah. in, in my, uh, in that foam cannon. And I just sprayed, I sprayed the whole house with that stuff and, uh, just let it sit there. And, and so on the deck as well. Now, the reason that I, I went to this is because, you know, I, I kind of pulled back a little bit from using, uh, two, the, the bleach, the the liquid bleach uh, in itself on the wood because if you leave it oh, on there it it'll, a little bit it'll yeah. it'll really start to attack the wood you know the fibers yep. and stuff so oxyclean yep. is 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 uh you know much better uh, to do that and i'll tell you um it worked <laughs> i was i was i was surprised that you know because i'd really i I'd never used it to that extent before but uh you know it worked it worked really well and you know what i didn't have to worry about Bleach, you know, stain, you know, bleaching out my clothes and everything either, you know, because you're and killing your and kill, and killing your everything. Yep. Yep. A- a- yep, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, it, folks, give that a try. Take that stuff out of the laundry and uh, you know, try it on the outside. You know, and there's plenty of there's plenty of instructions out there with with um, with this product. You know how to how to use it uh, on outdoor stuff. And I'll tell you the other thing is that I, I, um, it worked on my furniture really well on the outside where it got all nasty and everything. Great. So, so, so that's a great tip. So you, you just said something that made me think of another tip. I'm just going to throw this one out very, very quickly, but you said, bring it out of the laundry room and use it for outside your home. This is a tip. I think we've put this out there before, but I'm going to put it out again. Folks, if you have borax as a cleaner, as you use it as a cleaner, there's a powdered old, it's kind of an old timey uh, cleaning solution. It's just called borax. It's 20 mule team (laughs) borax, right? Let me tell you what, if you have ants and you want to kill ants, <laughs> you take a little bit of honey or sugar water and borax yeah, and you it. mix it into a, a paste and they go in and they eat that stuff, game yeah. over. I mean, it is, yeah. fa- and it is completely safe. It is not, it, it, it works. It's, uh, my understanding is that it, is a, it ex- actually explodes the ants from the inside out. I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is if you make that little paste up and, and you can do it with other things too. Like if you want, if you have grease ants, you know, ants eat two different things. If you eat, if you mix it with grease and sugar, it'll kill all the ants. I mean, they just eat it and they're gone. It's great. And it's completely safe. Like you don't really have to worry about it. So that's coming out of the laundry room into the, into the thing. Anyway, next one, Johnny, next tip. You know, the, the next one is, and I just did it, was um, I changed my smoke detector batteries. You know, listen, um, you know, it, it, usually I, I, I try to, uh, to do this every time we, we, we change the, the, the clocks, you know. Um, yep, it's, it's, it's it, overdone, but it needs to be well, brought up again. You know, here's what, here's what reminded me of this. Um, and, it, you know, it's kind of a, you know, obviously it's, it should be a no-brainer. But, you know, people going on vacation and stuff. And I had one of my customers, you know, call me from the Bahamas, actually. And uh, their smoke detectors were going off. Oh, And their dogs yeah. were at home with the dog sitting. Oh. Oh. And you know that they were just going nuts. So you know, hey, I I said, man, I I dropped everything and I I rolled on over there and went in there and sure enough, the you know the batteries were gone. They're bad. So I just replaced them and you know good to go. But it's it's one of those things where you don't think about it, but man, when they start to chirp, oh, it drives you right? crazy, it, and it'll drive the dogs crazy. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it drives the oh, dogs. Oh yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, anyways. You know, change your batteries. You know, good good time. To, yeah, good, and, and that's a safety yeah. thing, too, Oh, right? no, Folks, absolutely. You, you're, you need that freaking thing to work when it needs to work. You know, it's not like, oh, well, I'll, you know, I'm not going to worry about it till next week. Yeah, until your house catches on fire. Yeah. You know, then you need the damn thing to work, you know. And so that's that's the other side. Also, test it while you're up there. Actually, press the test button. Make sure it actually works, And if, especially if it's old. So let right? me, yeah, let so, me carry on with the, with one one other tip, with, with the tip on that, since you brought that up, is that when you replace those batteries, push the test in all the way and leave it. Hold it in to discharge the uh, the capacitor in the in that uh, smoke detector. So when you put yep. the new battery in, um, it resets the whole thing. Otherwise, it could keep chirping. Yep. So yep. anyways. Yep. And that's a, and that's a good that's a very yep. good tip for the actual process yep. of doing that. Yep. 
of, of doing that one. So the other thing, and you know, we're big on this, but HVAC filters, right, folks? Remember, change your HVAC filters. Go to a Merv 10, M-E-R-V 10, which is generally about a $10 filter. That's going to be the best choice, especially here. You know, we live in Atlanta. Trust me, they don't call it Pollen City for nothing because it's freaking insane. But, uh, you know, with this time of year, I change my filters about every month because they're so clogged up with this fine yellow pine pollen, which lands on everything. Anyway, problems we have here that other people don't have. Um, but it is time to check your HVAC filters. That's a, that's a tip that really can save you big money over, law, over a long period of time in, in uh, efficiency on your um, HVAC units and, and longevity of your HVAC units, too. So that's that's that one what other tips do we have any other tips johnny no we've got million we got millions yeah the yeah no is, i do you know those are those kind of floated to the top here during during uh during springtime um so i wanted to pass those along you know so i guess we're your checklist <laughs> we're your, <laughs> your reminder list we do have a checklist available. If people want to send us an email, that's questions at handymanprosradioshow.com, and we can send you a checklist. We've got a, a, a kind of a standard template for um, the, the checklist for uh, springtime activity. We've got, got them set by season, spring, summer, and fall. Um, so if you're interested in that, just send us an email saying, hey, I want the checklist, and we'll send, when you, send you one off. Um, speaking of checklists, John, <clears throat> It, it, it is uh, it is time. Do you have that disassembly checklist? I got something in my front yard I need to take apart, but I, I don't want to do it without a manual. You, do you have one handy? Um, no. It's in a wrong language, isn't it? That's the problem. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say that they showed you their condensation pump. <laughs> they... <laughs> All right, Larry. Take us on out of here. Thanks, Let's Johnny. roll on out. You, you, you got my mind going, and I've had to bite my tongue <laughs> All here. Right, for folks. A minute <laughs> Thanks for joining <laughs> us for another episode. <laughs> of the Handyman Pros Radio Show. We'll see you next week.